Prosecution? Yes, Your Worship. Do you have any more witnesses? Yes, Your Worship. Uh, I wish to call uh, the police officer who was on duty at Mwan Police Station. You are Constable Opolotti? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Opolotti. Do you solemnly affirm to say the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Were you on duty on 8th of October? Yes, I was. Do you remember that man there? Yes, I know that man. You remember him? Yes. Please, tell the court how you know that man. You know, uh, I was having my lunch mm. uh, at the police station. Yes. Uh, when that man came rushing, and I dropped my plate on the floor. Yes. And he, because I was startled. Yes. Go on. What happened next? He told me that he had caught his wife with another man, and uh, uh, I decided to go with him to the crime chain. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Crime scene? Crime chain. And, with, and when, when you go to the crime scene, what did you see? Um, when, we, when we get to the crime chain, uh, we get the, the door, the padlock on the door, which he opened, and there come a woman just in her knicker. And everything, everything was hanging, hanging just like that outside. We get it. Please go on. Your Worship, we want to get all angles here. That angle seems covered. Constable Oplot, tell us then, what happened next? That man there, he was crying. He was yes. shouting, crying, and uh, I don't know what he was saying. It was in Luganda. Mm. And uh, the man and the woman was dressing up. And when I asked them what they were doing, he said, uh, this woman said he was examining her. Examining her? Yes, he, she said he, he was examining her. And what illness did she say she had? Uh, she said it was a private part. Uh, no, sorry, private matter. Thank you, Your Worship. No further questions. Thank Defense. you, Mr. Polot. Thank you. Defense, do you have questions for the witness? Your Worship, we do have questions for the witness. Proceed. Uh, first, sir, I would like to thank you for what you do. You know, it's not an easy thing ensuring that we are all safe. Thank you. Okay. Um, the day you saw my client, you saw after she opened the door, right? Yes, she was naked. But you just told us she was in her panties. Anyway, um, hmm. did you, um, were you, did you see them actually having an hour match? No, sir. No. But, so actually you didn't see my client engaged in an hour match with another man? Yes, I did not. I mean, no, I did not. <laughs> Thank you so much. No further questions. After hearing the deliberations, I hereby find that the prose prosecution has established a prima facie case. Defense? Your Worship, we present our witness, Mrs. Mokasa. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, please tell us why you went to the motel that day. But... I wonder, motels are, were beautiful people to go to. Anyway, you see, I got married to a very bitter husband. This bitter husband always beats me all the I time. You liar. You liar. You liar. Don't take a horrible quote. Mr. Nkasa. Order. Continue, please. And I had had enough of it. 
So that day I just decided to go and look for a friend to, to seek comfort. And I went to Mr. Kakumba uh, to give me comfort. Uh, and you see, he's one of my best friends. Mrs. Mokasa. Yes, please. So this Mr. Kakumba comes to your aid after that man, your husband, had beaten you? Yes. Um, has he beaten you several times? <laughs> yes. That man over there. Huh? Beating me is like giving me breakfast, lunch, and supper. He beats me all the time. Every time he comes back home drunk, or even when I laugh at another man's joke. When you laugh at another man's joke? Yes. At first, I was very happy and proud of myself. I used to tell my friends that he used to beat me because he loved me. I thought it was a sign of love, but I was mistaken. Objection, Your Worship. Objection, Your Worship. Uh, relevancy. Your Worship, we are not here because he beats his wife every day. We are here because she was caught committing adultery. Objection overruled. I want to hear this go on. Yes, and when he kept on beating me, I, he did it several times, I got tired. I decided to go and seek solace from my friends. Uh, that's why I went to talk to Mr. Kakumba. Uh, he was examining you? Yes. He, he was actually examining the wounds that my husband inflicted on, on me. But he was naked? Yes, you see, there was change of weather. So he said he was feeling very hot. Uh, and I told him to feel free and put off his clothes. You see, you even smile. You happy because you did that. You Mr. Mukasa. This is the last time I am warning you. Uh, you haven't you ever uh, put off clothes uh, when you're around friends when you felt too hot? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> I do it a lot, actually. But yes. this does not look good. Just imagine if it was you and you walked into a room, your husband and another woman are in that room and they're undressed. What would you think? Now what is new about that? We are both uh, born naked. Anyway, uh, I don't like it when people just assume things uh, because they were just thinking of things that were not really happening. Anyway, does it mean that if they found us both naked, does it mean we were committing adultery? The first witness said he has seen you go to that place several times before. What? Me? Yeah. No. That man is a liar. He has a tongue fire. He's a liar. Me, I, I've, I, I've never gone there. Uh, it was my first time to go there. No further questions, Your Worship. Prosecution. Please cross-examine the witness. Examining you. Yes, examining me. Is that man a doctor? <laughs> what kind of question is that? You mean it is only doctors who have permission to examine anyone? Your Worship, I believe that I have proved beyond reasonable doubt that the accused committed the offense he is on trial for. Thank you, Your Worship. No further question is. Based on the evidence presented to this court by both parties, the court has reached a verdict. Mrs. Mukasa, this court hereby finds you guilty of adultery contrary to section 154 two of the penal code. Prosecution, do you want to submit? Yes, Your Worship. Proceed. Your Worship, give that lady the maximum sentence. We don't want to send wrong messages to people that they commit adultery and get a slap on their shoulder. With the rate of HIV 
we have in Uganda, we need husbands and wives to be faithful. If we sympathize with that lady, now, tomorrow, even the whole nation will be committing adultery. Thank you, Your Worship. Do you have anything to say to soften your sentence? Your Worship, we beg for mercy. Husband beat her wife several times Please. until she had run to friends for solace and a bit of examination. But. Okay, noted. <laughs> Mrs. Mukasa, you are here by sentence to two <coughs> months in prison to be served immediately. <laughs> Court dismissed. 